I got my first arc. <laughs> I just want to know what happens. So it is currently 7 o'clock in the evening on the, what is it, the 30th of January at the moment. And this reading vlog is about to be a little bit different. You can probably tell from the title, but this is going to be a whole reading vlog based on the fact that I got my first arc. <laughs> Since I started reading a lot more male male romances this year, I've joined so many Facebook pages for all of these authors and I've noticed that quite a few of them actually post in the lead up to their book releases saying, you know, if you want to sign up to be available for maybe like promotional things, then, you know, fill out certain forms and all that kind of stuff. And so I filled one out for Serena Bowen's new release, Roommate and did not expect anything to come from it whatsoever. I was just like, you know, I'll give it a shot. I'll see what happens. And I got an email the other week saying like, hey, you know, we're giving you the opportunity to receive an arc of this book. If you're interested, fill out this form. And I was like, hell yes, I'm interested because reading the blurb for this book, I was so excited. And I'm like, not even that, the fact that it's Serena Bowen, like she wrote, him, which as I mentioned in one of my other videos was the first male male romance, like published male male romance that I've actually read this year. So that was kind of insane that like my first arc is the same author as the first like book that I read in the genre, which I think is crazy. It might not be, but my mind is blown. Even still though, filling out this form, they're like, hey, it's not guaranteed that you will get an arc of this. And I'm like, okay, keep your hopes down. And the next day I got an email and they're like, hey, you've been approved. And I'm like, oh. So here we are, like a week or two after that email, I have received the Ark of Roommate in my Kindle library. I am so excited to get started on reading this. I've been putting it off for a couple of days just because I want to be able to binge it because I don't want any interruptions here. Uh-uh. I just want to be able to sit and I want to read for hours and I want to smash it out because I know it's going to be good. I should probably tell you what it's about, shouldn't I? I've reread the blurb that many times before filming this and I kind of still have no idea what's happening. We really don't get a lot of information from this blurb. So the gist of what I've gotten so far is that we're following two blokes, Roderick and Kieran. They went to the same high school almost a decade ago. We don't know if they were friends. We don't know if, any, if anything more happened. We just know that Kieran let something slip to Roderick. I kind of have a feeling that it might have been that he's gay, but Roderick left town after high school and is only just coming back now after eight years away. He is looking for a place to stay. Kieran is looking for a roommate. You know, circumstance is just bringing them together, but Kieran is still not out, I don't think and Roderick may be the only person who actually knows his secret. And so at the same time that Kieran wants Roderick close, he doesn't want to lose everything if that secret about his sexuality gets out. But I'm going to eat and then we're gonna binge. Let's do it. Sometimes adulting just sucks. If that isn't a good opening line to a book, I don't know what is. It's currently quarter to nine on the 31st of January and sorry about the lighting, it's a bit overcast outside so it's not the greatest but I have to go to work which means that I can't actually sit down and finish reading Roommate. I think I made it maybe like 40% of the way last night and then I fell asleep halfway through a chapter because I woke up and my phone was like underneath me. So I have no idea what I actually finished on but I was really enjoying it so I cannot wait to get back from work so that I can finish reading this and hopefully I can smash it out before a New Year's party tonight. I just wanna know what happens. I wanna finish it because I'm loving it so far. It is so good. I'm absolutely loving both Roderick and Kieran. Their relationship is just amazing. I'm loving seeing the progression and I can't wait to see where it's gonna go from here. Good afternoon. It is now 2.30 in the afternoon. 
I said afternoon twice in close succession and that felt really weird. A little bit of an update. We did get notified while I was at work that Victoria does have some new restrictions coming in tonight. So from 5 p.m. you can only have 15 people in your home at a time when it used to be 30 and you now have to resume wearing masks indoors at all times unless like you're in your own home or you're eating or you're drinking. And already I know that people are going to be ignoring the hell out of that. Just do your part. Like we've come so far in 2020. Don't be a dick and stuff it up for everyone else just because you don't want to wear a mask, you know? Like it's not that much of a hardship to just stick it on. Like if you have a medical reason for wearing it, obviously, please, this is not aimed at you. Um, but like it's just the dickheads who think they're above it and don't want to wear it that piss me off because I'm like just do it What is it costing you? <laughs> anyway my, enough, enough of my ranting. I am definitely not going to finish this tonight I thought I was a little bit further in but I'm only 38% through the book Which I'm very happy about mind you because I was reading for a couple of hours yesterday And if I'm only 38% of the way through that means we have several more hours of reading to go Which I am very happy about The last thing that I wanted was to get to the climax of the book and then have to put it down for the rest of the night. And of course that's what's happened. So here I am, bawling, not quite bawling, crying. <laughs> and I have to get ready to leave. That's how you know it's a good one because I've read so many books recently that have been too easy to put down to go to work or go do something else. And I'm an introvert so don't take this the wrong way, but you know it's a good book when you would rather read than spend time with people. Good afternoon everybody and happy new year! So it is 20 past 1 on New Year's Day, so we are starting a little bit late today, but we only have maybe like 20 minutes left in this book and I can't handle it. I want more. I'm not ready. I feel like I've been procrastinating since I got home this morning. I went for a walk with my dad because I don't want to finish it. Like I, I, I want to end it. I want to know how this gets fixed, but I don't want to finish it because that means that it's over and I don't have any more Kieran and Roderick to read and I, I don't want to deal with that at the moment. I am currently on chapter 37 of 42 and I'm pretty sure 42 is actually the uh, epilogue. I'm going to sit down and read and I'll keep you guys updated. And just like that, it's over. It's done. I'm like trying to gather my thoughts because I'm reviewing this like directly after reading it which is something that I try not to do because it does take time for me to actually realize you know what things I did and didn't like about a particular book. It was so good. Like what? The fact that I have to like put how I feel about this book into words is really just like making my brain stop computing because it doesn't know how to do that. I really enjoy the characters. I definitely liked reading about them. I, ha I feel like Kieran's character, I kind of like got a feel for in the very beginning, but I feel like it took me a little while to kind of, I don't wanna say get to know, but it, it, that's kind of what fits. It took me a while to get to know Roderick's character, if that makes sense. I love the Shipley family. I want to be part of that family because they're all just so loving and they're nice. It was so easy to read, like there was nothing there where I'm like, oh, I don't really like that, I don't really want to read that anymore. The whole time I'm just flicking like more, 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 like, and I've already, since finishing, have gone back and reread like so many of the highlighted scenes because I'm already missing these characters. But at the same time, the ending is one of those ones where like, I'm happy. I'm satisfied with the ending of this book. I feel like if we got more, I wouldn't protest, but it doesn't need it. Like it's, their story just was wrapped up perfectly. Like I know some books you finish and you're just like, what do you mean? Like, that's it. I have questions. I don't have questions. I'm perfectly happy, perfectly content to go back and reread this as many bloody times as I want because it was bloody brilliant. And I don't really know what more to say other than that. It was great. 
pick it up comes out January 12th. I'm back. My camera died and it is several hours later because I had to wait for it to charge because I only have the one battery. I did give it a four star read. It wasn't like to the point that I would give it a five star. It was definitely one that I enjoyed. It just wasn't like it didn't hit that mark for me. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video now because I don't actually have too much more to say. I feel like I'd just be repeating myself otherwise, but I did want to say another huge, huge thank you to Serena Bowen and her publishing team for sending me an arc of this book. I am still kind of amazed that I actually got approved to get an arc and the fact that this is my first ever one kind of is still blowing my mind like what the hell this is cool and i'm really grateful so thank you and i will see you guys in the next one